Hello everyone, Beata here. Welcome back to Getting to Know Fibers and Fabric Season 1. Today we are looking at hemp. For many of you, if you think about hemp, fabric is not the first thing that comes to mind. Well, just to inform you, not the same strand of plant is being used to smoke it versus wear it. There's more than a hundred different strains of the cannabis plant and the strain that we use for fabric is different to the uses of other cannabis strains. The other name for hemp is weed and that is no coincidence. The plant is definitely a weed and it chokes out any other plant that might be in competition to it. That also means that very little to no pesticides are used in the production of growing weed. The other great thing about weed is that it returns 60 to 70% of the nutrients it takes from the soil. Not only is hemp gentle on the earth, it also requires very little water, especially in comparison to cotton. Hemp also requires a relatively small amount of land to cultivate. Hemp fabric is made from the long strands of fiber that make up the stalk of the plant. These fibers are separated from the bark throughout a process called retting. These fibers are then spun together to produce a continuous thread that can be woven into a fabric. The various stages of this process can be done organically through a mechanical process that requires no chemicals. Hemp viscose can also be made and if you haven't seen the viscose episode, I'll have it linked down below. As you know that viscose is actually a semi-synthetic fiber. So what can happen potentially is that the weed plants are being taken and turned into a type of a pulp and then is mixed with loads of other chemicals which then produces the fabric. The reason for doing that is it makes it but much faster. And that way it is less labor intensive for humans and more of the work is machine based. When buying hemp, you don't want hemp viscose. You want 100% pure organic hemp. Unfortunately, I don't have any fabrics to show you that I own myself because I don't own any hemp fabrics yet. But I'll pop up some pictures of images of hemp fabrics and hemp clothing. I'm just going to a website called Hemp Love. It's based here in South Africa and you can already see the beautiful, beautiful different colors of all the different clothing pieces that they have. Um, it looks a lot like cotton, I'd say. I'm just going to click on the slow collection. You can see it's a 100% sustainable range made out of organic um, hemp, um, natural plant-based dyes. It's got shell buttons and no nylon zips, which is awesome. Um, we're going to scroll through a bit further, maybe just click on one of those just to see what the fabric composition really is. So let's click on this dress, very plain design, basic color, which means um, less harsh dyes as well. You can again see it looks a lot, a lot like cotton, um, at least the texture thereof, um, and it looks very breathable in terms of the type of pictures they have. 55% hemp, 45 cotton. Okay, this is an American brand, I think. I'm not completely sure, but let's just maybe click on one of their t-shirts to see what um, the fabric composition is over here. Oh wow, you can see there's so many different types of colors, beautiful colors. Um, okay, let's scroll down. Oh, there it is. 55% uh, hemp and 45% organic cotton. Again, very, very similar. So yeah, that is basically what hemp looks like. Let's look at the general pros of hemp. It is extremely durable and the softness increases over time. I've seen that it looks very much like linen and if you haven't seen the linen episode, I'll also link that down below, but it's almost got a very um, raw, um, almost unfinished look to it, but the more you wear it, the softer the fabric becomes. The fabric is also highly breathable. Cons. The original texture can be a bit rough on the skin, similar to um, maybe some linens. It does wrinkle. Some companies and brands might be very misleading when talking about hemp and they might say that their items are made out of hemp, but it can be misleading and it could actually be hemp viscose that we've spoken about. 
Again, you don't want hemp viscose, you want hemp. And that is how they use green washing. I'll elaborate. Green washing is a term used when companies want to sound more environmentally friendly, greener than what they actually are. So instead of brainwashing, it's called greenwashing. They have lots of words and confusing terminology to make an item sound cleaner than what it actually is. So you don't want to fall for that type of advertising or marketing and that is why a very easy way to check whether an item is made out of viscose, hemp viscose or then true hemp is just by checking that little label inside. Different countries has different rules as to how companies are allowed to advertise their items and that is why it is quite a big concern when it comes to hemp and that is why it's a big con as a general or listed as a general con. Environmental pros. It naturally reduces pests. It requires very little water. The item is 100% biodegradable. Again, not viscose, but pure hemp. No chemicals are required in the growing of hemp. Garments lasts a really long time, therefore there's no need to replace it every single year or every single season. And the plant doesn't deplete the soil. It actually returns 60 to 70% of the nutrients. Cons. Toxic chemicals can be used in the dye, but it seems to be quite uncommon, especially in hemp, which is great. That is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to see the last few videos of this video series, please do subscribe now and turn the post notifications on. So by hitting that little bell and I hope to see you here back tomorrow. Bye guys. You might think of other uses. I see you. Michal.